my name is Dr. Lou Jacobs, and I am a chiropractor in Portland, Maine. I have several specialties, but one of them is working with pregnant moms and children. And so, as a result, I receive questions all the time about chiropractic and moms and chiropractic and kids. And one of the questions that I get most frequently is, you know, my kid's only three months old. He doesn't have back pain. Why should I bring him to a chiropractor? It's a really good question. It's a legitimate question, and it's one that you should ask. But it does show um, that the person asking the question has a misconception about what chiropractic is all about. And it's a common misconception in the United States. We have collectively been taught that chiropractic is really great for back pain, which it is, but not for the reasons that we think that it is. Chiropractic is more about the nervous system and nervous system function than it is about a misalignment and pain in the back. You see, your brain controls everything that happens in your body. All the healing, all the regulation, all of the control over every single bodily function that there is. Okay? We also experience life through our brain, and our brain tells our body what to do and how to respond based on our perceptions of the world. It's really important, which is why it's encased in solid bone. If there's any kind of interruption in that communication in a baby because they had a traumatic birth or a nor normal birth, but they ended up having some sort of misalignment or, as we call it, subluxation of the spine that leads to nerve compression that diminishes communication. This child's ability to regulate and heal its body and indeed grow and develop normally may be compromised because of this. So when we're looking at a young child that hasn't even started walking yet, maybe not even sitting yet, and we know that they don't have back pain, or we believe that they don't have back pain, and they shouldn't have back pain, right? They may have this subluxation that leads to diminished communication and diminished control. And we need to identify that. Because if we do, we can correct it. And if we correct it earlier on, then there's less backtracking and damage control that needs to be done. I evaluate little kids all the time, sometimes on the way home to the hospital. It's very gentle. It's very safe. There's no invasive procedures of any kind. And, and if we identify a problem, we discuss it with the parents. And if the parents want to try to correct the problem, we do. And if they don't, that's okay too. It's always a good idea to know what we're dealing with. And it's always a good idea, just like you have your child checked after delivery by the medical doctor to see if the big things are running normally, it's a good idea to identify problems within the nervous system as well. This is why we recommend that every child, at the very least, get checked for nerve inter interference caused by vertebral subluxation.